India's large conglomerates have seen a transformational year 2023. Now, three things that stand out. Fortifying succession planning, expansion into new businesses, and also new listings after decades. Let's elaborate. Reliance Industries Chairman Mukesh Ambani's AGM speech on continuity with change is emphatically formalized with Group's next-gen Isha, Akash and Anant Ambani's induction into the mothership Reliance Industries board. Even in the case of Aditya Birla Group, both Aryaman and Ananya Birla have been elevated to become directors at Apex decision-making body ABMCPL. New verticals have been added by India's top business houses this year as well. Birla's foray into Paints business is a big bet. Aditya Birla Group also entered into more B2C businesses like branded jewellery Novel Jewels and an innovative B2B e-commerce platform for construction material Birla Pivot. For Reliance Industries, it's a significant year with the fastest 5G rollout pan India. In online retail, beauty platform Terra made a big splash and even the launch of its FMCG brand Independence shows the group's focus on capturing the consumption market visible amongst its other ventures across verticals as well. Tata Group made some significant progress in expanding its manufacturing capabilities across verticals by formalizing new plans like Tata Electronics taking stride in setting up a semiconductor unit. Tata Group also forms a new company, Agritas, to set up a battery plant in the UK. Auto Vertical Tata Motors partners with Cummins to manufacture low to zero emission tech products. Even JSW Group, known for old economy sectors, made a foray into new age sector of electric vehicles by forming a joint venture with MG Motor India. So the year also stands out due to the blockbuster listing of Tata Tech and IPO from the House of Tatas after almost two decades. Even JSW Infra listing came as an offering of IPO from the group after 14 long years and Reliance listed Geo Financial Services, a new listed entity from this conglomerate after decades. So what lies ahead for India's large conglomerates? Strengthening new business verticals. A lot of them are the new age businesses or sectors of the future. Surely this space is growing fast and the scale-up of new verticals will make sure that the next wave of listings are much sooner than the last long gap that we saw. And finally, driving all this will be the energetic next-gen, taking more important positions and driving the decision-making for the groups in the coming year.